most often, we consider paintings looking at their plot. However, famous paintings can carry deeper sense than we used to think. The bright side of life offers to learn more about the history of their creation and delve into their specific features to be convinced of this. Caravaggio, Sit Bacchus Michelangelo de Caravaggio began to create the painting Sit Bacchus being seriously ill. The artist fell off his horse and spent six months in Rome, healing the injured leg and suffering from lack of money. The Icteric Bacchus with feverish blue lips is actually a self-portrait of Caravaggio. The master created the painting, sitting in front of a mirror. Moreover, the artist's injured leg was the one that the sick Bacchus pulled out under the table. Jan Vermeer, Girl with a Pearl Earring The painting was created by the artist in the 17th century and had various names, one of which was portrait in antique costume, uncommonly artistic. The one by which we know this painting today, was considered appropriate not so long ago. In fact, some researchers doubt that the earring in the girl's ear is really made of pearls, it is more likely that it is processed tin. Moreover, they are not even sure that this is an earring. After all, the picture doesn't show the fastener to insert an earring into the ear. But the discoveries did not end there. A study was conducted in 2018 during which they found that the background of the picture was not always black. In fact, the artist depicted a dark green curtain next to the girl. Grantwood, American Gothic Many believe that this painting depicts a husband and wife, but in reality they are a father and daughter. The artist's dentist and sister posed for the painting. For the image to be more natural, Grantwood asked his sister to make her own apron that American girls in rural Iowa could wear. When the finished painting was shown at a competition at the Art Institute of Chicago, one of the judges decided that it was a comic valentine that did not deserve attention. He was hardly persuaded to purchase the painting for the museum fund. And Iowa's residents were furious with the canvas, because they believed that they were depicted as too uncouth and harsh. Elizabeth Vigilabron, Portraits of Marie Antoinette and Self-Portraits with Her Daughter Elizabeth Vigilabron was a talented French artist. But in order to remain a demanded artist, she sometimes had to redraw pictures to please the mores prevailing at that time. A wave of criticism fell upon the artist because of the portrait of Marie Antoinette. She dared to portray the queen in a dress made from a material that was usually used for underwear. A few days later, Vigilabron was forced to remove the painting from the exhibition and replace it with an identical portrait but with a more traditional dress. And the portrait of the artist with her daughter captured a wide smile for the first time. This shocked critics, as the image of the teeth evoked negative associations, it was believed that such people did not control their emotions. Some time later, Elizabeth painted another self-portrait. Both canvases, painted by her in private, did not at all correspond to the accepted rules of an official portrait, and the delicately intertwined poses and natural facial expressions reinforced the depicted feelings of maternal love and protection. Vincent van Gogh, Café Terrace at Night In Vincent van Gogh's work motifs with stars are often found, but this painting has become special. Despite the fact that the artist did not sign the painting, there is no doubt about the authorship, because he described it in detail in his three letters. And it was this image that laid the foundation for his paintings with the starry sky. And on the canvas, he depicted the constellations in such detail and authenticity that scientists were able to accurately calculate the date of painting the picture, on the night of September 16 to 17, 1888. Also, the painting by plot was not an easy task from the point of view of technology. Indeed, despite the abundance of dark elements on the canvas, the artist did not use black paint at all, he achieved these shades by mixing blue, purple and green colors. Marcel Duchamp, Nude Descending a Staircase This painting by Marcel Duchamp is considered a classic of modernism, but at one time it was rejected by the Cubists as too futuristic. And at the exhibition it was completely ridiculed. One visitor stated, My bathroom rug has more cultural value and artistic merit. Gustav Klimt, Portrait of Adele Blockbauer I Gustav Klimt painted more than 100 sketches for the portrait of Adele Blockbauer. 
Of course, it was important for him to think through his idea in detail, but he made so many sketches also because the brilliant Adele had a small flaw, a slightly deformed finger. She tried to hide it, and therefore her hands all the time occupied a somewhat unnatural position. In the end, the painter found the exact gesture that was ideal for his composition. William Turner, Rain, Steam and Speed The painting was created during the Industrial Revolution, when people massively switched to industrial production. However, the artists of that time believed that such themes were not worthy of being depicted on canvases. The fact that William Turner painted such a picture proves that he was ahead of his time and portrayed industrial progress as something worthy and beautiful, and this is why, despite the fact that almost everything on the canvas is depicted rather vaguely, denoting the power of speed, one can see a rushing hare that is trying to escape from the train. It is believed that in this way the artist wanted to hint at the danger of new technologies for nature and man. Gustav Klimt, The Kiss the painting The Kiss was practically the last chance for the artist to save his reputation. Prior to that, he completed a series of paintings in the Great Hall of the University of Vienna, but the society greeted them with indignation, considering them too frank. Creating a new painting was a risky business for him. But already at the stage of creating The Kiss, the management of the museum in Vienna liked the painting so much that it was bought unfinished. At that time, it was the largest amount ever paid for a painting. Valentin Serov, Portrait of Henrietta Hirschman Despite the fact that Valentin Serov was in close friendship with Henrietta and painted her repeatedly, this portrait turned out to have subtext, the woman seems to straighten a fur boa with her hand, but this gesture is just a way to show the world luxurious rings. And this shows the arrogance of a woman, characteristic of any representative of the high society of that time. However, in addition to the accusations, there are details of a different nature in the picture. In the mirror, you can see the reflection of the painter himself. It is believed that this portrait is the only work of the artist in which he decided to capture himself along with the model. There is glass on the table behind the woman's back, this was a sign of the times. With the active development of perfumery at the end of the 19th century, countertops began to be protected, even one drop of spilled perfume could harm the varnished surface. Leonardo da Vinci, Lady with an Ermine The audience was not always sure of the authorship of the painting Lady with an Ermine. Despite the fact that the inscription Leonardo da Vinci was preserved on the painting, the researchers doubted because this inscription was made much later than the painting itself. In modern times, they carried out a detailed study of the portrait, the canvas was translucent with a multispectral camera in order to recreate it as it came out of the artist's studio. Scientists have found that the painting has been heavily altered in the process of poor restoration work. The background was not always so dark, it was originally navy blue. The main thing that the researchers found was the confirmation of the painting's authorship, Leonardo da Vinci's fingerprints were found on the canvas. Paintings by Frida Kahlo Frida Kahlo often painted little monkeys next to her, and for good reason, the artist wanted to emphasize the strength and wild female energy of her nature in this way. The fact is that in the Aztec culture, monkeys were considered gods of fertility, known for their impudence, looseness, as well as love for dancing and art, such symbolism suited the best for Frida Kahlo. There's also one interesting painting of Frida's self-portrait. She began to paint her portrait with the image of her husband Diego Rivera on her forehead after the divorce. The tattoo drawn on her forehead became a metaphor for the fact that the former spouse didn't leave her head, memory, and thoughts. The woman is wearing traditional Mexican clothing, which her ex-husband is said to have loved. And all over the picture, as if a web is stretched, which hints that the heroine has fallen into the trap of obsession. By the way, after a while Frida and Diego got married again. It is quite curious to look at the canvases and realize the true story hidden behind. Let us know which painting or the artist is your favorite and why. Like this video, and subscribe so the bright side of life is always with you.